guys, welcome back to Wanderlust Mommy. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me, almost three weeks since I posted a video, but I promise to be a little bit more consistent now. I think I'm going to start posting videos on Sunday night at 9 p.m. Um, and then some on Mondays at 8 p.m. Um, that's for now. We've been on such a busy schedule with the baby and everything and um, work, so... That's why um, I've taken a little bit of time to post the second video of our Philippines vacation. But nonetheless, let's get in. Um, so in the last video, you saw us going to our to Shanghai for our 18-hour layover. So I want to kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, when we got to the airport, we were delayed an hour. So when you do go to Asia and you travel, um, be ready to expect certain delays. You just have to be prepared, especially if you're traveling with a baby or a toddler. Um, make sure that you pack a lot of snacks. Um, you have something warm to wear, especially in China. Uh, we noticed that the weather was either really chilly um, and a little bit on the humid side um, in Shanghai. And um, coming back, it was raining. So be prepared. Take maybe like a nice little bomber jacket and a hoodie or something to protect your little one um, or and yourself so that you're comfortable. And at the airport, um, I would say try to be there. If you have a layover in China and are traveling to a different country like the Philippines, try to be there two to three hours before, especially if you don't know what transportation to take. Um, when we back, went back to the airport, we just took the same um, transportation, which was uh, the subway and then the maglev back to the airport. Um, and yes, it was a little bit tiring because we were awake for the full 18 hours. We didn't have anywhere to rather sleep or stay, but we were on so much adrenaline that, you know, we had an amazing time anyways. So we got to the airport and um, we were only there for maybe for like two hours. And then we got to Manila Airport where we were there for three hours. Uh, from Manila, we did fly into um, Palawan. And then when you do get to Banawan, it's fairly easy. It's a very small airport. And it's very easy to get a van to get you to um, El Nido. It is about four to five hours. I think we got there in, in five hours. We did stop, very short stop for about 30 minutes. Um, and it is a bumpy road. But we did leave early in the morning around 9.30. Um, there was a nice man at the airport that helped us um, put everything on a cart and then got us a van um, to El Nido. And El Nido, we were supposed to stay at El Nido Cove Resort, but we ended up staying at El Nido Reef Strand because El Nido Cove canceled on us, um, which was really, really good, actually, because El Nido Reef Strand Resort um, didn't have really good reviews on Agoda, which is where we booked our resort. But, um, and it didn't have good reviews because it said that it was hard to get there because there's like a little road and it's farther away from El Nido. But El Nido is really relatively small. So even though it was a, you know, a little dirt road, I loved how remote it felt. It was my favorite place throughout our, all of our travels. Um, every single morning I would get up, drink my coffee, at, my coffee or two coffees, and then walk down the little dirt road um, and just see life, the locals, and everybody in the Philippines is so nice. I think out of any country that I've ever been to, the Philippines has the nicest people ever. I just, it's beautiful. And then Nido, I mean, pictures, videos, they don't do it justice. It's just so beautiful. And I would say that it's probably the most beautiful island that I have ever seen. I heard a lot of good things about Coron. But you'll see, um, we were supposed to stay in Coron for a little bit longer. We couldn't. Um, but yeah, you'll see that later on in the video. Um, and then the people at the Nilo Restaurant, it's a family-owned little resort. They just built a um, infinity pool looking out into this amazing, like, the, the Nilo, you know, um, cove, I guess you can say. And um, we also found out that Anido Cove Resort is a little bit farther than Reef Strand, so it was just perfect. Um, we became friends with the owners, and they were so accommodating. Um, on our first day, we were supposed to go on Tour A, and uh, we ended up having to go to Tour D because the weather wasn't um, working out with the boats. So Tour D, um, I would say it would, it, it's a little bit better if you do have a toddler and you want to take your toddler, but I would say just wait until maybe your baby is a little bit older, um, or make sure that the weather is just amazing that day and there are no winds um, and that way you can take your your toddler and enjoy it um, so we couldn't go on the tour a I was kind of disappointed but we make the mo made the most of it anyways um, on the next day we were supposed to go to Nakban Beach you can hear Penelope in the background <laughs> um, uh, on beach but um,
So this is our hotel room. I mean, it's pretty basic, but you go outside and this is a view pretty much.
Hello? Penelope, what are you doing? So this is the situation right now. We got Elephant uh, Buddy on the bed. Little Sesame Street Buddy, little Ducky Buddy, and little room service. And then, oh, what do we have here? <laughs> That's what we have here. 